Today, we're going to take an exclusive look at the Crossman Legacy 1000 Model CLG 1000KT .177 caliber BB gun. And also, the Crossman Hollow Point .177 caliber pellets. I'm pretty excited because this is my first BB gun and yes, I have shot real live guns before. So this should be a piece of cake. Crossman Air Power, Control Your Power, Legacy 1000, Variable Pump. And this is what the packaging looks like. And it even comes with a um, four by 15 millimeter scope, all weather synthetic stock and all that good stuff. Unbox it. Shipping was super fast, guys. I'm very happy with Amazon Prime. And I believe this piece is all plastic, too. So, word of caution, as with all type of guns, whether it be BB gun, real gun, or, or air rifle, make sure you don't point the muzzle at something you don't intend to shoot. Get out of the packaging. Wow, this looks like a real gun though. This looks like a full-size gun right here. All right, let's look at that, guys. It's got the Legacy 1000 Crossman logo right here. All right, this is the pump action that you pump. It's got a metal... Iron sight, iron sight, I think that's what it's called. And I believe everything is made of plastic, it feels like it. Okay. It's got a plastic feel to it. It's got a pretty good weight. So the overall length of the gun is around 40 inches and it weighs one kilogram, otherwise known as the English unit, 2.2 pounds. And of course, it comes with user's manual in three different languages, which explains about how to use a gun, what each parts are called. All right, so now let me walk you through the parts of the gun. This is the stock. This is the bolt. And this is the BB follower stem right here. We have the rear sight, and this is the barrel of the gun, and the front sight, along with the muzzle. The loading port, which is in here, the loading port with the lever action. That's where you load your BB guns, I mean BB rounds. The forearm, right here, where you pump the gun. And by the way, you don't pump it less than three or more than 12 times. The grip cap, this is the grip cap right here, that you slide down to insert your BB gun pellets. Also, different storage. The safety, yes, it does have a safety. So the red means it's firing, it's ready to fire. When it's not showing the red, that means the safety is on. And of course, this is the trigger right here. Never pull it push and pull it unless you're ready to shoot. There's also a user's manual for the target finder super scope. Here's a look at the Crossman 4x15 scope. Okay. Let's look through that. I see the crosshair. I don't know if you guys are able to see that. See the crosshair. And you have all these styles. It works basically just like any other type of scope. 
Okay, in order to attach the scope, I'm just going to loosen the screws until it flits into the slide right here. So I basically loosened the screw until that was able to be wide enough to fit on the left slot. And then I tightened it with the right screw and tell me to do the same right here. That looks exactly like the picture right there, the location. Now we're gonna take a look at the Crossman 0.177 caliber hollow point premier pellets. So this is made to fit 0.177 caliber air guns, made of 7.9 grain hollow point design. This should be 500 in here. See, these little pellets. These are what the hollow points are about. What makes hollow points different from the regular pellet is that once a point penetration, it spreads out to give even more maximum damage. All right, so I'm testing out in my basement. I have this makeshift target right here, and I'll be shooting from about 25 feet away. All right, since I'll be working with the hollow points pellets instead of BB guns, I can forego all of that putting the BB guns into the chamber right here and then having to shake it and then do all this stuff. That's the great thing about having pellets. First of all, it is more effective for small game hunting. So I'm going to simply insert the pellet, one of these hollow point pellets, 500 in here, and this is the forward end, okay? So what you want to do is open up the chamber right here, if it's closed, open that up, insert it, drop it down right here until it aligns properly. There we go. So once that's in there, push forward on the chamber. And now I'm going to cock it minimum three times. I mean no less than three, no more than 13. Full pumps like this. This is one, okay, two, three, four, five. Six. I think that's good for the distance that I'm using. There we go. I'm going to use the scope. Adjust accordingly. Aim it for the center. The bullseye right there. Bullseye. Okay. Here we go. Here the pump. Here the... Oh, by the way, take it out of safety. Rare is ready to fire. That's one shot. Let's see where I hit. And of course, when you're holding a gun, always point the barrel away from anything you don't intend to shoot. Always be careful where it's pointing. Hold on, I don't see it striking anywhere. These are staple holes on top. Yeah, nothing. Hmm, that's weird. I don't see any. I don't see any pellets on the ground either. What's wrong? That's weird. Let me try it right up front. I hope it's not a jam. Nothing is coming out, see? There's no way I could miss that cardboard. I think we have a jam. According to the manual to clear a jam, make sure you put the gun on safety first. And then I'm gonna open the, the barrel. Okay, and then stick a some type of rod, anything you fit inside the hole right here. Never look down the barrel of a gun, even a BB gun, an air gun, anything like that. And I'm going to poke it through until um, I can see the pellet uh, coming back down the barrel down here. See if I can get that to show up. And if it's not, if you can't unjam it via that method, you can take it to an authorized dealer. If it's within warranty, they'll fix it for free. Unfortunately, I think that's the case that we're dealing with.
Hold on, maybe I'll try it this way. Since the wire is semi flexible, maybe I can push it out through this way. Since it seems to be going down, stopping right there, even though it's a long wire. Now I'm using a clothes hanger. See, it went all the way, all the way deep in here. Still couldn't get any jams out. Unfortunately, guys, no matter what I did, I wasn't able to unjam the pellet. So I might just give a quick review. I'm deciding on returning it. It's within 30 days. So no fault of the pellets. The hollow points. These are quality hollow points. And it's affordable. Definitely recommend these. But as for the rifle, uh, I'm not sure it's human error because when the first time when I tried to fire it, maybe I didn't pump it fully, so it kind of got stuck in the barrel, and then it eventually uh, escalated more and more until I found it. Maybe the third pellet or fourth pellet, then I knew that uh, you know I had to do the full pump. By doing the full pump, I mean like all the way out, all the way, and that's a full pump. I think I was doing like this. Okay, so uh, yeah, no matter what I did, I, I'm not able to unjam it. The rifle is handsome design. It's uh, pretty easy to operate. It serves both BBs and pellets, and the scope is decent. Uh, definitely don't expect the best quality or the scope. You probably will bypass the scope and just use the, uh, the hard sights. So unfortunately, because of jam, and I read that uh, Air rifles or BB guns tend to jam pretty often. Yeah, uh, what can I say? Uh, a little bit disappointed. I don't know if it's human error or because of the quality error or maybe a little bit of both. Anyway, I'll be returning it though.